Welcome to Western Bee. We are in Polson, Montana, on the shores of Flathead Lake. I am Rick Melinda. I'm the president and general manager. Western Bee has been around since 1965, right here at this location, and we are a full-service beekeeping supply house. We make all of our own wooden wear, but we carry all the extra things you need, from suits to veils, books, uh, all the tools and medicines that would go with beekeeping. This is a basic hive setup with actually having supers on it and everything. We have two brood chambers on top of a bottom board and then we have two supers on top of the brood chambers with a cover on top. These are the basic components you need to get a hive going. The bees enter through this entrance right down here. You see this big long gap and I don't have an entrance reducer in there but you would have one with your, your kit and uh, that's how bees go in and out of the hive. So as you can see, they go down through there and they're worked their way up. And then they work their way back down to fly on out. So that's a, the simplicity of being able to uh, uh, monitor and uh, maintain your, your hive inspections. Then you're gonna have what's called brood chambers. Brood chambers are these big boxes here that you see, and they're full of frames. And uh, this is where the queen and all of her workers are gonna get to work to uh, start making their hive function as it should. Inside of each of these boxes are frames. And uh, this is an example of one of the frames we use. One of the big questions we get is what kind of foundation should we use? We always recommend for simplicity's sake to go with a plastic based foundation that snaps in and out real quickly like you see me doing here and then it snaps right back in just as easy. It's wax coated so the bees will take to it and it uh, lasts a long time, so it'll work great for you. So you want two of these boxes to get things going. And, uh, and again, you got a cover on top and uh, you're, just, you're ready to go right there. All you need to do is add bees. As your hive progresses and uh, gets stronger and they fill out these bottom two hives with not only uh, honey, pollen and uh, larvae, uh, then you want to start looking as that happens to add on boxes that would be used for extraction. In other words, the honey you're going to take off. How we do that is uh, first off, when we get to that point and these boxes are about 70% full, we'll add a queen excluder. This is a style of queen excluder and we'll put that on top of them. As the name implies, it excludes the queen from going somewhere. In this case, up. Remember, the bees enter through the bottom of entrance, so they come up through the hive. The queen cannot fit through this wire grid. The worker bees can, so they'll continue to work and add on. So what we'll do is add on smaller boxes called supers. This one happens to be a six and five eighths box. It too has 10 frames in it. It too has plastic foundation just like we saw in the bigger ones. And uh, they will draw out the comb here and then they will start putting honey in these upper boxes. How many supers will you put on in a year? Really depends on the type of year, weather and all that. Uh, in our case here, we have two extra supers we can put on. And uh, those are the kinds, these are the kinds of boxes that you pull off at the end of the season which in this part of the country is early September and you would take that to your extracting house and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyway that's your basic hive setup and there's some tools you need when you're working with the bees that you should have with you at all times. First and foremost is what's called a hive tool. This is a nice little thing to have around to pull out your frames because the bees will propolize it in and they don't just come out by lifting them out as you see here. You're going to have to kind of dig them out. And the hive tool is the most wonderful thing in the world to help you do that. Another tool that's good to have around is what's called a smoker. A smoker actually emits smoke into the hive and the idea behind that is when the bees smell the smoke they think the house is on fire. This of course being their house. That means they're going to try to take the honey, so they engorge themselves on the honey and uh, in doing so what they do is go down into the hive and uh, allowing you the time to go dig around because they're busy feeding themselves and uh, you can check your hive out and make a good inspection. What do you use for smoker fuel? 
My recommendation in this part of the country anyway is uh, pine needles, dried out pine needles. They work really great. They smoke for a long time and uh, it's what I use. You can find something in your own area. Burlap bags work. We do have smoker fuel made strictly for that, but you just put the smoker fuel inside the container, you light it, give it a few puffs, put the lid on, it should shoot out smoke, uh, not fire. I like to remind people, don't burn your bees. So anyway, you would just go like that in the boxes, you can do it down here and all that. Everywhere you do it, the bees will start going more downwards, so you can kind of keep them where they belong. Another nice tool to have is a bee brush. Bee brush because they're up here on top of the frames and you can kind of softly push them out of your way when again you're trying to inspect frames to see what's going on within your hive. So those are the basic components you need up front. A good suit is, is usually recommended. If nothing else, certainly wear a veil and uh, even gloves. We have uh, many different styles of gloves. I recommend the leather ones. We have a couple different styles of that, goat skin, cow skin, and uh, both work well. And uh, that just keeps you from getting stung a little bit and whatnot. So these are the basic components of the hive. As far as painting them, use an outdoor type paint, latex, enamel, whichever you like. And anything that's an outside of the hive is what you want to paint. You don't paint the inside, you don't paint the frames, simply anything that's exposed to the elements would be painted. Your choice of colors, lighter colors are best because uh, it reflects the sun away in the summer months in particular. So in a nutshell, that's the basic equipment you need to start a hive.